Actually, you're right. This door hasn't been. Ah! Look at you, Jesus Christ! <sighs> Alright. Welcome, everyone, to the MGN channel. I'm your host, Cornish. And today, we're going to be talking about the jump scare of all jump scares, which is of 2021. Now, I thought this was going to be an intense game, but man, the game sweated me. Look at this. I am not even joking. So we're going to be talking and reviewing the game of Summer of 58. The Summer of 58 is a jump scare horror fest investigation where you play as Alex Morton, a paranormal investigator blogger. At the request of the followers, you go to Russia to explore the abandoned camp Unist. The pioneer camp Unist is a common place where parents leave their children for the summer from year to year. Until one day of 1958, a nightmare happened. The residents and the counselors were killed at the place. One of the children was accused, but that child was never found. The camp was closed and no one opened its doors anymore, till recently. When Alex Morton, the paranormal investigator vlogger, decides to try and find some information on this mystery. Ah! Oh, wow! God, you're sick of this! I'm sick of- Oh my god, what the friggity frick 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 is that thing? So, let's start off with the gameplay itself. Now, the gameplay itself is not huge, like, uh, you know, running, there's me running away and all that stuff. It is properly investigating stuff. Each room you go to would be always different. So, you were, say for instance, you go into one room and then you leave that room, you'll find something completely different, which might possess some more clues about what happened. Uh, you, as Alex Morton, really need to check and figure out what actually happened here. Because it wasn't just a random massacre by one child. There is more to it than meets the eye. With that being said, there is a lot of backtracking to and fro to different areas in the houses or other locations, which will be going in later. Uh, I won't reveal what other places, but trust me, it was a jump scare of a fest of a nightmare. Thank you. I don't want to go in the bathroom. I don't want to go in the bathroom. I don't want to go in the bathroom. But I have to because... Ah! I'm done. No, we're not playing it. We're not playing it. We're not playing it. We're not playing this. We're not playing this. We're not playing this. We're not playing this. I don't like... This is Jump Scare Massacre. With some cool clues in the game and some good storyline basis, it's a, it's a really good little thing. I thought it was just going to be an intense story mode, but no, no, no. Um, the jump scares were just too much. There was, I will be honest with you, there was a lot of jump scares. And trust me, the sweat is still there. Another thing is the sounds. When you're progressing through the game, make sure you hear every single sound because that will give you a hint of what's there and what's happening. Um, there is quite a few times... I heard some sounds and ignored it and then got lost until I heard that sound again and then I went to that place and there was something new there so another thing you need to make sure when you're playing this game are sounds is important on this like the brightness wait don't start this already I wasn't there before. So there is a few places to locate because this is a big old camp. So the first start, you will start in the orphanage and then you will continue to the other building, which I will not reveal for you because you guys need to play this. Um, there is a lot of walking and there is a lot of backtracking. But uh, yeah, be expecting things. Sometimes I forgot this was going to like literally jump scare me and I kind of looking around for quite a bit and then... Bang. Right right at me. Right at me. Um, the ghosts are pretty cool. They're pretty scary. Uh, no. 
Sorry, they're really scary. Um, I, I like the art design of each ghost. It's not that kind of easy bland of a ghost, but you know, I kind of like the whole peeping around the corners and stuff and don't know what you're expecting and it could just literally maybe happen to you in front of your face. Puzzle solving is really not much puzzle solving, but finding things is a thing you need to find. So make sure you search in each area and examine each item. Sometimes you can take it, sometimes you can't. The, uh, the only negative thing I will say about this game, there was so many jump scares. I mean, so many. My heart couldn't take it. And, uh, I'm, well, I'm glad I managed to get through it. <laughs> but, like, th that's the thing. Like, there, like, I like jump scares, and I like them, but when they constantly hit you with that jump scare, it gets really, really tedious. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that's that. Just around here. You are a wonderful individual teddy bear. We like you. Yes, we do. You are the best. You're the best. And we will never disrespect you. I said we were funny! What? What? Why did I say funny? Accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. I don't like babies. I hate baby sounds in horror games. Like... Jesus! Save me! Save me! I don't like baby sounds. So with that being said, the Summer of 58 is a bit of a short horror game. However, there are going to be bringing more games, and for the price of it, it's actually pretty, pretty decent price. I'm also looking forward to their new work and their new upcoming games, if there's going to be any sequels. What was the name of the developer and how the heck do you pronounce it? I don't want to shred their name. Amika. Amika. Amika Games. I'm looking forward to seeing some of your work, and I cannot wait to play more of these types of games you're making. At the time of recording this, Amika Games is no more. A cigarette in the honor and rest in peace of Amika Games. God damn it, man. It was a good game and all. I was looking forward to the series, but now they do this. And I hate that. God. Hmm. Not going to be swearing. It's PG friendly. And to everyone here on the channel, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And that is Corner Shining Out. Take care and goodbye. One more thing. We have a Discord. Come and join us. We also have a Twitter. So be sure to follow us. And yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, speaking with you guys. Oh, To anyone who's just tuned in, I hope you do appreciate what I have to deal with on this game. Um, I thought it was going to be an intense story thing, but that is some scary stuff. Now, real talk here, right? This will be a review on the on the MGN channel. I do hope you can take a time to appreciate the Tusty. I have to deal with on this game and the amount of jump scares that are hitting me in the face. That is all.